Hey, what am everybody. I gonna talk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. Well, how is everyone doing? I hope everybody is getting ready for the holidays. I can't believe Christmas is coming next weekend. So I hope everyone is doing well, not too overwhelmed, and just looking forward to spend time with people you love. And today I would like to share with you guys um, and uh, some experiences. <laughs> Actually, not mine but somebody who is an American and traveled to Ukraine and um, yeah because there is a lot of controversy people say all sorts of things and I would like to ask this wonderful gentleman how was his trip to Ukraine? Most excellent I should say Most excellent? Mm, yes different cultures, different food mm -hmm. and what else you want to say? The train was very interesting. Train? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about the train. <laughs> the train is kind of rough. Yes. So, um, yeah, the train, <laughs> the, the train gets you right back. Even the express is very rough. Uh-huh. You, you mean the service and so forth and everything? Oh, yes. Yes, and the train station is pretty rough. Okay, the this conversation is going wrong. wrong. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> no, you know, I don't edit my videos. I know you don't. <laughs> I have all sorts of things in here. So, I would say, is it hard to, was it hard for you to get around uh, with, uh, in Ukraine, you know, not knowing the language? The language? First time I went, I had somebody from the States that was originally from Kiev. So, as for me, my first time, I had help. But that was six years ago, as of today more people are speaking English so nice. so if you go to a train station and ask for an express they'll uh -huh. know and tell the city you want to go to they'll know uh-huh is there anything else but as for taxi cab drivers most likely they don't speak English Can I put him a little bit no you can't why am I that good yeah because you're looking really good <laughs> he's looking really good. He's looking really good. He's just camera shy, but he's looking nice. He's very nice man sharing, um, making some connections, sharing some experiences. So it was better for you, you know, when you had somebody around. And now when you come back last year, more people were able to talk to you in English, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. So and it was... It was fine, right? Yes. There was no worries there. It was actually safer than where I'm um, from Chicago. So Oh, so. yes. You know, that is so interesting that you're saying that. So because I felt more comfortable walking in Kiev than I uh -huh. actually do in Chicago. Yes. I totally believe you because, you know, we have some areas even here in Lansing that I'm like, I'm much safer walking in, in, in my city than here. Yep. So. so it's just a miss in a way that, oh my God, it's dangerous. No, it's not dangerous. It's very safe. Mm -hmm. so. so, what uh, did you like like the most? What did you enjoy the most? As for me, I prefer, I like the old architecture of the Kia oh, yeah. and the engineering that goes on. Which, uh -huh. is, as being a construction worker, you got uh -huh. very different styles and how they do stuff there. Uh huh. Well. Let's just say it's very unsafe for what they do in Ukraine compared to what we do here in America. Really? Oh, yeah. Stop being so patriotic. Patriotic, yes. I'm getting you on camera. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> no, it's okay. You look great. So, um, you did enjoy the architecture. Yes. Actually, yes. the, the um, oh Orthodox churches uh -huh. and how they were designed and yes. how they do it. Uh-huh. You know what? It's interesting. I never appreciate our architecture till I traveled to U.S. to a small town. I was like, good Lord, where's everything? And what is this houses? I mean, they're like, where's architecture? I, I never... It's, it's funny because when you grew up some, somewhere like that, you basically just uh, take it for granted. I thought everybody have it. Yes. Like, have you seen our beautiful cathedrals and stuff? Which one? Uh, Safivsky yes. or... The one on top of the hill? Yeah. One that's a thousand steps up? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or Andreevsky? I ain't for sure if I've had. No, I've been to Sofia's. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yes, it's beautiful. Let's go because I don't want you to become an icicle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I can say hi to maybe. Hello. 
So, getting you guys some, some more ideas. I know some of you are considering the travel, so that's why we are talking about this. So, nobody uh, grab you and cut you with knives and put you in cuffs. <laughs> in <No>. cuffs. <laughs> Good. Excellent. No, no, that's so, not with that. Okay. So, do you think it's safe for an American to travel to Ukraine by himself? Yes, I do. Okay. What tips would you give before somebody's travel? Let's say they travel into Kiev. Um, what any particular things you would suggest to well, do? Well, to do? Uh huh. Or prepare. You know, prepare. To prepare. Mm -hmm. Well, make sure you know where your hotel is. What street is it? <laughs> That's a good advice. And make sure it's in the center. Mm hmm. Because you'll find more things to do in the center of town than right. you will in the suburbs. Right. This that's very true. The center is the most safe too. And it's um, it's beautiful. Ooh. And it's not full of tourists or what you normally would see traveling elsewhere. Yes. It's just regular Ukrainian people or Kievians yeah. or whatever you. Would yeah. Mm-hmm. True. So. Yeah. No. Wow, it's pretty fresh over here. Oh, make sure you dress <laughs> properly. Yeah, make sure you dress nicely. But you guys, if you're watching my channel, you 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 already know that, right? Yes. <laughs> what about the cell phone? Last time I traveled, the cell phone didn't. Uh, you know, you, I have to get a local cell phone. Did, no, did you mine get... worked. Really? Yes. But how did you did you use like did you pay for international or how did you do that? Well. No, it just uh, you're just roaming basically. You're gonna okay, pay a just bit. Pay. yeah, you just use the roaming, okay. Unless you got yeah. a different kind of plan like T-Mobile. Okay, all right. Different plans. Yeah, I usually because I'm a local, I just usually you know buy some cheap phone and put a local SIM card because you know I have Verizon, so it's a uh, wireless. And in Ukraine, I use I would use a SIM card. So yeah, look how beautiful this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but just so cute. A little snow on the chairs. <laughs> I'm really romantic, but I wish I could show you this beautiful building, but um, it's kind of dark. Well, you kind of can see it's kind of to the revival 1927. Beautiful. <laughs> Art Deco. Yes, classic building. So, um, of course, I can not to ask you about what do you find uh, attractive or fascinating about uh, Ukrainian women? Or people in general, you know, you people. can just share. It's really... Yeah, say it's something a, it's nice. Basically, it's a, fresh, a breath of fresh air of dealing with different people mm -hmm. compared to dealing with the States and it's you pretty much know what they're going to say. Do you, feel that, oh, do you feel that people maybe are a little bit more natural, a little bit more open, they don't fake as much? Correct. Yes, they do. And Oh, one thing you will learn is... They don't usually smile on the subway. No, they don't smile to strangers. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I learned that on my first trip there. Nobody wanted to smile to each other on the subway. <laughs> yes. Not only on the subway. Like, you don't really... Like, when you walk in town, do you really smile to each other? No. I do. Yeah, well, you do. <laughs> you know, I remember I, I had a guest and he was smiling to everybody. I'm like, stop smiling. People think you're crazy. <laughs> And you know, and I felt so bad about it. But you know, guys, it's just a different culture. And I told you, once you meet the person and you break the ice, they will invite you to their homes and make meal for you. They'll be very hospital. Yes, they will. I had no problem with meeting people there. I have another question. Like, I know you know you have your own thing. You have some relationships. Do you think that Russian and Ukrainian women are caring? As you, they. You know, do do you feel that they care in the family and that they're generous also as well? You know, taking do they like does it make you feel good and what I'm just you know, it's just a question because I talk about they those make things. You, as with any woman, they're they're all women, but as for being there, the women are definitely different and they are nurturing and they will watch out for you. They will yeah. take care of you. Yes. If you, and they're very okay. finicky. Okay, and now my last. If you don't want to look at women wearing sweats around yeah. all, day, all the time, then go there. Hey, maybe you you like men anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my my last question: What are things that you do not like about Ukraine, or anything that you do not really like about Ukraine? 
You can think, oh God, you know. What I don't like a. Mm -hmm. Well, besides watching a drunk guy sleeping next next to a fire station with a bottle of vodka. Mm-hmm. And well, it, you guys have more homeless people here. Just say yeah, we, yes, we barely, we have a little bit, but we, you know. I don't know if he was home. I don't know if he was homeless yeah. or not. But right. just say he was. <laughs> I, I got a kick out of it, a laugh. Yeah. That because, and uh, uh -huh. let's see what I didn't like about it. <clears throat> Maybe uh, the, the one the thing service. is it was just a yes, a little bit of the service, uh -huh. but they're getting better at that. Yeah, they're learning. Six years, they've gotten a lot better. Nice. Hell no. The last thing I can say is don't use the urinal in the train. <laughs> oh, oh my god. It was terrible. Okay. Oh, okay. Bathroom and train. Yeah, guys, if you take a train, uh, bathrooms aren't hot. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. yeah, well, but let's keep it all romantic. Um, oh, right. look, look at the beautiful oh. things, beautiful snow. So well, uh, thank you so much for sharing your, you know, your uh, experience. I'm, I'm not gonna say your name because you're gonna freak out. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's not your address. But really, to to be serious, I'm just trying to bring uh, to people who had not traveled yet an idea that hey, you can actually travel and you're gonna be fine. Yeah, it's that take all the credit cards, you know, every major credit card. Mm -hmm. No problems there. No, dollars up to the Grievna. Yes, so you actually in a very good position to travel now because the you get many Grievna for a dollar. 25 to 1. Right, because we have terrible inflation, but it doesn't affect you. In fact, you win because it's very less dollars, you know, so you are at advantage there. So it's pretty cheap. Yeah. It's like, what? I stayed at a three-star hotel mm -hmm. for $50. Yeah, that's that's very nice for two people uh -huh. yes so overall it, it was a fun experience yes I enjoy it I'll be back again yes nice when are you planning to go 2017 mm, sometime I most likely probably will this yeah. year yeah so yeah this coming year yes nice so you like to get out of your comfort zone and travel and explore right yes I do yes so that's the point guys travel explore and have fun Thank you.